Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the behavior system with Motion Director Props. We'll explore how you can utilize multiple IMDs in a single prop, including tag matching, how you can add and edit motions in the behavior system, and how to customize the radial menu. Let's start off by introducing the IMD tag system using this Observe MD prop as our first example. This is an actionable type indicated by the icon in the top left of the thumbnail. The type and MD prop name are also indicated at the top of the IMD list section of the MD behavior tab. By default, this MD prop contains two IMD types, one for male and one for female, each with their own unique trigger results. It's important to have correct tag enabled here, according to the model type you have and the behavior you want. Tags are a way to match and properly assign certain model types with the relevant props or motions. You can learn more about them in the basic Motion Director tutorials. Under Behavior Settings, you can toggle between the IMDs in the dropdown and mouse over to preview the triggered animations. Okay, let's look at how we can customize our MD prop a bit. The MD prop is simply a dummy so if we want, we can replace it with any prop mesh. In this case, I'm going to right click and drag this mirror prop over the dummy until it's highlighted, and the dummy mesh will then be replaced while retaining the MD prop properties. Let's give it a quick test. I'll start Motion Director and trigger the Observe Perform from the MD prop mirror menu, leading our model to look inquisitively into the mirror, wondering who he sees in the reflection. This is all pretty basic, so let's add some additional motions by clicking on Add slash Delete Behavior, then choosing our model. This will snap our character to the predefined position point of the MD prop, and isolate both items for better editing. We can then hit plus in the Perform column and add these additional motions which can be found in the free resource pack. To preview your motions, you can right click it and select Edit Motion in Timeline. Or you can use the dedicated Edit Motion in Timeline button with your desired motion selected. You can easily delete motions from your MD behavior list by right-clicking on the motion and selecting Delete. Unless you want your clip to be part of your final project, be sure to delete it from the timeline before hitting Apply once you're satisfied with the results. Hotkeys in numerical order will automatically be assigned to each added motion, and they'll pop up when you click on the mirror. Let's test out the Viewing Mirror motion that I just added. You'll notice a bit of initial foot sliding, meaning that we need to tweak the transition between the character's assigned idle and the motion that we just added. Let's go back to Add Delete Behavior Mode and proceed to edit our motion in the timeline. Since we want to adjust how it blends with the assigned idle motion, let's move the Viewing Mirror motion ahead a bit then use the dedicated button to add his idle motion to the timeline as well. To keep things simple, we're just using a basic IMD with a single casual mode here, but if you have a more complex IMD, you can choose it as well as the relevant mode in this window. Notice the foot position discrepancy between the last frame of our idle and the first frame of the motion. An easy fix for this is to right click on the second clip and align it to the right foot, which is the one that is planted at the end of the idle clip. This will adjust the root position to compensate for the position of the right foot, avoiding the foot sliding. To avoid a jerky transition from one clip to the other, we can then overlap the clips slightly and use the transition handles to lengthen the transition a bit. We can then do a quick foot position edit using the Edit Motion Layer tool 
for a very subtle additional detail. For a flawless loop, we need to repeat this process at the end of our motion as well. So, once again, I'll add the same idle after our mirror viewing clip and do the same edit. You can see the nicely blended results in our preview. Now, to save our editing results, select the original Perform in the Behavior list and then click and drag in the Collect Clip track to also include every frame of the transition between the idle motion and the mirror viewing motion. Then right click and select Overwrite Selected MD Behavior Motion. I can hit Apply to add the Talk Serious motion quickly here without any editing then run Motion Director to test the result. Here you can see a great side-by-side -side comparison of before and after we made that idle transition edit. Okay, lastly, let's look at how we can customize the MD Props radial menu where all of the motions are accessed from during playtime. You can remove motions from your radial menu under Edit Behavior. Notice that when you deselect a motion, it will not be removed from your list, but it will no longer be visible from the radial menu. It will, however, be removed from your hotkey menu, and you can click and drag here to rearrange your motions according to your preference. Clicking the Add Page button will allow you to add and manage different pages, each with their own motions and hotkeys. Here I'm creating one called Look Page and another called Dance Page. For the look page, maybe I only need the talk serious and viewing mirror motions, so I'll remove the others from my hotkeys. Then under dance page, I'll add a couple of additional relevant motions by clicking and dragging from my perform list. Now during MD playtime, you'll be prompted to first select the assigned page before proceeding to its contained motions and there is a big back button to navigate to the top menu. Also be aware that you can use the relevant hotkeys displayed beside each menu item. I can activate the talk serious motion to prompt our model to have a serious conversation with himself in the mirror. Wherever you move your mirror MD prop in the scene, your model will consistently make its way to the proper position before performing the interactive motions, which saves a ton of time. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.